on some breaking developments coming in right this minute uh, from Geneva, where the Baloch Republican Party is protesting the state-sponsored atrocities in Balochistan uh, during the ongoing 37th session of the United Nations Human Rights Council. The atrocities that continue in Balochistan and have uh, been uh, the focus of uh, international uh, uh, media and experts uh, for the longest time. Uh, Pakistan, of course, has attracted criticism for the human rights abuses which continue in Balochistan. And now these protests which have uh, made their presence across the world in different parts over the last few weeks and months. Uh, the uh, protests are now uh, reaching Geneva where the Baloch Republican Party is protesting the state-sponsored atrocities in Balochistan. Uh, this uh, during the ongoing 37th session of the UN Human Rights Council. Let's go straight across now uh, to uh, our senior correspondent Ramesh Ramachandran who's joining us for more on this. Ramesh, what more do we know at this point? These protests, of course, uh, are not new. We've seen similar protests across different parts of the world. But these assume significance as the protesters could also be seen marching towards the United Nations office. This is coming uh, amidst the ongoing UN Human Rights Council. Absolutely. The immediate uh, context of this uh, demonstration of protest is the 37th session of the UNHRC happening in Geneva, which is why the protests are happening in that Swiss city. But that said, this is not the first time and probably not the last time the Baloch people would be organizing such protests. We've seen it happen in London, in New York and many other cities around the world. Uh, and the focus of their protest is the continuing human rights violations in Balochistan happening as we speak today by the Pakistani state agencies including the army and the ISI and the Baloch people want uh, an end to the human rights violations, abuses of the people many of whom are living in self-imposed exile in neighboring countries in Iran, in Afghanistan, in India and also in Europe and other countries so they want to focus on the human rights violations happening in Balochistan and want the world community to intervene on their behalf. Right, uh, Ramesh, uh, these protesters, as we understand, uh, and uh, like similar protests, are shouting pro-freedom pro slogans. They're also demanding Pakistan to stop abducting, abducting uh, innocent civilians from Balochistan. But help our viewers understand the continued denial on part of Pakistan, which continues every time uh, uh, these protests uh, take place. In fact, uh, what's even uh, more uh, of concern here is how every time uh, protests come up, uh, there is a continued and renewed effort on part of Pakistan to actually silence those protests. So very little of that resentment also makes its way uh, in the eyes of the world media. Absolutely. One needs to understand the crux of the issue here. The crux of the issue here is this province of Balochistan, which is the largest province of Pakistan, which is rich in mineral resources and other, uh, other uh, minerals and metals, but yet its share in the country's revenues is minimal or less than the, what, it's, uh, what it deserves to actually have. And that is the, uh, you know, uh, like a sore a point in their uh, contention with the Pakistani government there that they're not give, able to get the resources which are due to them in spite of contributing much to the country's wealth and GDP. That's one issue. The other issue of this is the continuing abuses, forced disappearances, torture, uh, enforced uh, you know, disappearances. So these are issues which have been you know, plaguing this, uh, the Baloch people for long, for decades now, especially in the last 10, 15 odd years when the Pakistani military sort of had an offensive on the on-ground operation and in the air in Balochistan, which led to the death of many Baloch people, including Bukti, the leader of the Baloch tribe, uh, which who was killed in 2006, about a decade and more ago, under the presidentship of General Musharraf. So they have a long-standing grievance against the Pakistani state, and they want this issue to be highlighted the world fora, and they expect uh, and anticipate that the world community will intervene on their behalf with with the government in Pakistan. All right, we're going to leave it there for the moment, Ramesh. Appreciate very much for joining us on the broadcast, uh, helping our viewers understand uh, uh, the larger design uh, in the midst of this, uh, in the midst of which these protests are coming up. Uh, these protests now uh, reaching Geneva, coming amidst the ongoing uh, session of the UN Human Rights Council. <laughs>